Hey guys, it's V and you're watching Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a share for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. This is the January 2024 released. The first of 2024 has come out. For those of you who are following along with ScrapDivaDesigns.com, I'm sure you've already seen other projects being made with these. However, they release on the 1st, so it'll be available on the 1st. So I would suggest if you like something, get it then because it can be sold out. This is the information for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. She's on all socials. Check her out. I will have the link in the, in the description below. Be sure to use my discount code if you find something that you like. It's V10%. That's V-E-E-1-0 -E -E and the percent sign. So you can save 10% throughout the entire website. Let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have a heart postage stamp die set. Unfortunately, details about this isn't available on the website just yet until the first. So um, I'm unable to give you the exact measurements that will be on the website however i do have a ruler here so we'll go ahead and um share what it approximately would be so this one is a little over four and a half and the smaller one so you do get a large and a small and each one comes with three dies and they're all connected together um, this one is a, a notch under three and a quarter i wish i had one of those rulers that has all of the fractions on them because I'm so bad with this. <laughs> Anywho, let, okay, so I do want to mention, and I always forget to mention this, is that with any die, you guys, they are very sharp, it's, uh, especially if they have like thick connections like this one right here. You are able to cut that and it will cut. I've cut multiple of them with my jewelry cutter. Um, however, they can be sharp, so use caution. I don't want you guys to uh, get a nick and um, say that I did not warn you. So use caution with any die. That's just not these dies, but with any die. So that one is the heart postage stamp die set. And so it is it is two pieces because those thicker, even though it shows three, those are thick. So the connections are thick and just use caution. Okay, so the next one here is the uh, garage container bin. And uh, it looks like it has about, I don't know, seven pieces in it. You know, some are connected. And actually, no, this one does not have seven pieces. It has way more than seven. Here's some on the back. This is the garbage container. And there it is there. It's the garbage container bin. And uh, you could definitely make a box with this and put in some treats. Um, it is so easy to do. And uh, let's see what I can come. This is going to be a challenge for me. Okay, the next one are the fringe hearts. You guys, if you're a paper crafter, you know that fringe hearts are an essential. And I've even made them before. I've gotten them for swaps. And I'm sure you guys have too if you are a paper crafter and do swaps. So again, um, this one comes with three different sizes, a small, medium, and large. And they're so fun to make. You could probably uh, stack them up and make them dimensional. You could do so much with these, but I love these. Uh, I've gotten some again in the past and I still have them because I love them. So I have not shared those with anyone <laughs> okay the next one is fringe hearts bundle so uh this did come out uh, last year for valentine's and it is a larger set so again this is a smaller set and it comes with more of the hearts and this one sh has dimension to it so and it also comes with three extra hearts here so uh, you do get the base, the layering pieces for both the banner and the bows. So let's go ahead and see the approximate size of the base. And four inches, I'm in the U.S. It's a little over four inches. So there it is, you guys. So fun. I love banners. One of my favorite things to make are banners. Next one here is the... XOXO Shaker 
And this one comes with a, a large and a small. You also get the uh, base for that. So the base, um, and it, it is intentionally a shaker, so you're able to add some of your favorite mixes to it. Use it, this would definitely be good as a bag topper. Uh, you can use it as well as card making and in scrapbooks, I can see this there. So that is the XOXO shaker. And yeah, that one is a good one for Valentine. So, okay, you guys, you guys know I love mini albums. We have three coming out for this uh, release. And I can only make one, so I want you guys to choose. I'm gonna do a poll, I believe tomorrow. I'm gonna do a poll on Instagram. So be sure to head over to my Instagram stories. Check out the poll. I would love to see your votes. So I'm gonna make one mini album. The mini albums take so long for me to make. So this one is the heart mini album. And um, it's approximately, let's see here. A little over five and a half inches so you also get the base the layering you also get the bow and the layering for the bow on the other side you get conversation hearts you also get a pocket I love that I love that if you've been following me and you've seen all of my mini albums they all have pockets in them and I just love this because I don't have to fiddle with a pocket so here it is right here pocket right there <laughs> I'm excited for that one. So, it, yeah. So, this one is the Heart Mini Album. It's going to be a good one. That one's going to be a good one. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could make all of the mini albums because I just love them, you guys. And if I make a mini album, it'll be for sale on my, um, I guess, my website. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, again, if you, if you see that, all the links will be linked below. So, the next one here is the cell phone shaker and cover. This is it here, cell phone shaker and cover. Look at all of the pieces you get. I see a star, a balloon, two balloons. And I know these balloons did come out in the banner box two years ago. So if you have that banner box, you're gonna have multiples of these which um, you could, you, it's useful for die cutting. So instead of d die cutting these twice, you have that extra die and then you can utilize it with this and then cut two at a time. So that is an amazing thing there. And then here you got some AirPods. Let's make them into AirPods, pink ones. Let's make pink ones. <laughs> uh, here are sentiment hugs and kisses. I just love it. It's a cute phone. You could also make this into a mini album, um, a box, a mini album. Is it a mini album? Oh my goodness. A flip, a, f uh, a folio. That would be a cute thing to do. A folio. Let's see what I come up with. I'm not sure. Here is the next mini album, you guys. Postage stamp mini album. Postage stamp mini album. I just love it. The mini album here, and I'm sure it's probably about five inches. Yeah, it's um, four and a half inches wide by five and a half inches. You get the love. You get the, what does that say? I don't know what that says. Is that, an, okay, I'm not sure. I will go back to it later. It says letter, you get the postage, you get the airplane. And you get um, an envelope, also the postage here, uh, the fringed, uh, or the, um, get not scalloped, I don't even know what to call this, but the boxed, the box design there. Is that, oh, what is that? I have no idea. Okay, I will link it here. <laughs> If I figure that out, we'll figure it out later. Okay, the next one is the Market Stand Mini Album. Oh my goodness, Market Stand Mini Album. This one is such a cute one, isn't it? Look at this Market Stand. So it's approximately a little under five and a half inches wide and... 
a little a little over six and a quarter and of course you get the base you also get the layering piece for the panels you get the tires oh my goodness you also get the marketplace umbrella you get so many of these here banners so cute you get some heart balloons um you also get these i believe these are probably notches for something i don't know we probably we'll figure it out when i use it but you get a, that looks like a key i thought it was a key is it a key no it's not a key but yes so much to do with this one the next one is another market jelly bag so we had this is the third jelly bag i believe i hope it, it's the third but this one is the heart jelly bag so of course you would die cut these two of these two of these one of these and then you also get the layering pieces for the heart i love these jelly bags okay this one is amazing this one is the <laughs> armoire tag dice set. i always have trouble saying that word that's why i, I chuckled okay so i probably won't say it again <laughs> Yeah, so this is the armor. There I go. And definitely this one is a cute one. You you can this one could be a tag. You could it is a tag, but you can also make it into a mini album, a box, so much, a pocket. Oh, this will look cute as a pocket as well. Um, you could put this in your December daily. No, you could put, oh, you could put this inside a TN as well. This would be a cute one for a TN. You can make a journal with this as well. Oh my goodness. I am forgetting to do the measurements, you guys. Okay. So this one is approximately three and a half, over three and a half inches wide. And it stands about eight and a half yeah you could do a slimline card with this too that would be a cute one so the last one is the valentine's tree box so uh the valentine's tree box has the shaker plates as well so you get three shaker plates xoxo you get the uh, the lips and you also get the heart and so you can see this is the lid so you cut two of these out you would cut two of front and side panel lining and yeah so it's it's i guess it's made for a see-through but you can also do it as a solid so that is all of the dies i hope you guys enjoyed that and are looking forward to the this release because you know valentine's is always so fun i i definitely love october december and valentine's releases i they're just they're everything. So well, this concludes the video. If you have any questions, uh, comment below and I would be happy to uh, answer them. And I will see you in the next video with some new projects.